How's it going, everybody? Monday, April 15th. Had a decent trading day, but coming into the day, it was interesting because we had a lot of negative stuff that happened over the weekend, but then you had SPY and Qs that were trading higher. So it was a little interesting as far as where we were opening up and what could possibly happen. Do we hold the gap up and do we have the strength? Do buyers have the strength to step up and then keep that gap up? Or are we just gapping up into resistance and then maybe the news gets digested, catches some people off sides, and then we start to roll over? So it for sure was a bit of a tricky open. And whenever I feel like it's a tricky open, we're kind of still in chop. The main focus is just going to be NVIDIA. And I'm scalping price action. I'm just reacting to the candles. And then I'm going to wait for levels to trade around. That's what I did today. And it ended up being a pretty solid trading day. So I took two trades on NVIDIA. One to the downside and one to the upside. So as far as the downside setup, NVIDIA had the slight gap up. Overall market gapped up, first initial candle was red, and then we actually did a two minute upside opening range break. But I felt that it was worth being patient because there was a lot going on as far as this specific open, I didn't want to rush any trades. So I let the two minute upside opening range break happen, and if we continued to push and then we formed a bull flag, that would have been the setup, I would have considered a long trade. But we did not do that, we failed aggressively and look at this nasty wick. The failed break above 892, and then once we got back to the lows, I ended up taking puts once we were breaking down the lows right around 887. Got a quick drop to prior day close, and I took profits, and that was trade one. And then I was really just playing defense at that point. I didn't feel the need to over trade, but then there was one really good setup that happened on NVIDIA after this to the long side. So we got the initial drop off the open. Not everybody's a scalper like me. Some people are gonna take their short positions and then try to hold winners, which I always try to do and it just never really works. So I take my quick scalp and then I can reevaluate setups as they happen. And then it bounced off prior day close, pushed aggressively over the highs and then pulled back to pre-market high and then formed a nice bull flag pattern. I love these patterns right here because you got, you potentially catch some people off sides one way, then you get the strong momentum move the other way, and then you get the high and tight consolidation. And then it was also just under 900, thinking 900 was a psych level. So once we held pre-market high, and then we started to break above this bull flag, I took the 900 calls, got a nice push through 900, and then just scalped out for a second win on the day. And that was the day. Pretty clean price action. And I traded live with the group like I normally do. Every single day on voice, the Alpha Academy. If you're interested in checking it out, there's going to be a link in the description below. But for now, let's get into the live trading. 30 seconds till the opens. I'm not really in a rush, honestly. It's just about waiting. Wait to see if something looks pretty damn good because kind of in a weird spot. You got some really, you got some negative stuff going on over the weekend, but the market's up. So does it actually have the strength to hold up or is this gap up kind of just a little, a little fake out of the news that then gets digested and the real move happens. So I'm just going to just kind of wait, let things do what they got to do. I don't feel rushed to have to take a trade quicker off the open. We'll see if something sets up. It's a nasty two minute wick on Nvidia. Nasty two minute wick on NVIDIA. I'm trying three 88750s on NVIDIA. Just a really aggressive rejection of the highs. Three 88750s. Wow, look at that. Just going off that two minute wick. Maybe you could fill the downside gap. Oh, a little wicky though. And you got a little weakness in the market. Look at NVIDIA. Look at that. Wow. 
The video goes red on the day. All right, I'll take that. Almost a $2 move on the contracts on NVIDIA. That was a heck of a trade. Just reacted to that two-minute candle. Look at that nasty, nasty two-minute candle rejection. Flipped over 892. Nasty rejection. Took the, the two-minute candle to make a new low. Cleared out that 887.50. I didn't trade big size either. Only three contracts. Got almost a $2 move. Just for a little downside move. Video's holding up really well. And if the market, as long as the market doesn't fall apart, the relative strength on NVIDIA could persevere. High day is 897.67. NVIDIA does look pretty good. I think the 900 calls look good. I'm trying two 900 calls. Just two. Two 900 calls. Just two on that little push right there. Two 900s. Two 900 calls. I want to see this really go. Come on, NVIDIA. It's getting stuck at that 899. Okay, look at this waking up. I think 900 is a psych level. Can we get to 900 is the key. Maybe a 900 break gets this going higher. Clear trend to the upside, though. Just riding the trend. Look at that. What happens at 900? Can we do a little 900 break? There's going to be some liquidity at 900 for sure. Can Nvidia break 900? Look at that. All right, I'll take it off of the 900 break. There we go. Look at that. I got a dollar 20 on the contracts. Let's go. This could go higher. Nvidia looks great. This could go higher, but I'll just take my scalp. Only on two contracts, nothing crazy. But to do a little recap, my day's done. Nice little downside on NVIDIA, that first trade. Only took three contracts, didn't feel the need to have to size up. It was a little quick off the open. It was kind of going opposite the direction that it was, but it had the gap up and the fail. And then just using the two minute wick. That 932 aggressive above that prior candle high and then immediately rejected it and then back towards the lows. And I just took the, uh, the 887.50 puts for a little drop, thinking that maybe we could close the gap, get the little drop, take the quick profits, don't try to hold my winners like I normally do, and it just usually always comes back on me. Got a nice little trade, and then let this thing squeeze over the highs, pull back, took the little bull flag under 900, and then got a little pop through 900, and then just took a quick little move. Size down, only two contracts, 570 on the first trade, 235 on the next trade, 805 on the day. Solid Monday.